Hello students, let's do a menstruation exercise 23b. So before we begin the exercise, let's look at a few formulae that we will be using in these questions. First one, area of a parallelogram. If you have to find that, the formula is base into height. If you have to find the area for rhombus, base into height. If you have to find the area for triangle, the general formula is half into base into height. Now, if you have to find the area of a right angle triangle, we say half into product of its legs, where we are excluding the hypotenuse. So these are the other two legs. Now, if it is an equilateral triangle, then we say root 3 by 4 into a raised to the power of 2, where a is equal to the side. So these are the formulae that you must keep in mind and you have to learn by how to apply it in the questions that we're going to be doing now. Exercise 23b is found on page number 256. We have with question 13. One side of a parallelogram is 18 centimeters. So here we have a picture of a parallelogram and one side is 18 centimeters. We have got this side as 18 and its area is given. That means all the space inside. This area is 153 centimeters. Find the distance of the given side from its opposite side. So from the opposite side, the distance is this DE. We have to find this distance, which is also the height here. Okay, so now what is given to us? One side of the parallelogram is given to us and area of the parallelogram is given. Now we have to find the height. Remember, whenever we are asked to find something, make use of whatever is given to us. So here we can make use of this area of the parallelogram. Using the formula, area of the parallelogram is base into height. Now, let's substitute whatever we can here. So, area of the parallelogram is already given to us. So, that is 153 centimeter square. And that is equal to the base. And the base is 18 centimeters into height. 18 centimeters into height. And height is DE, which we don't know. Okay, so we're going to find the height. So this is a formula. So what we'll do is we'll bring DE to the side. So DE is equal to, now we have 153. And now we're going to move this 18 centimeters, which was with DE, to put it along with 153 centimeters square. So here, since it's multiplication, when it goes to 153, it becomes division. So here, we're going to say 153 divided by 18. So now we are going to find DE or the height, the height that is the distance of the given side. So now 153 divided by 18. Now there are two ways you can do this. One, you can do direct division. 153, you can divide it by 18 or you can reduce this to the lowest term if it is possible. Now here it is possible. Both are divisible by 9. So let's reduce it. So this will become... 9 ones are 9 and this is 15. So 15 minus 9 is 6, so 63. So that is 9 sevens are 63 and 9 twos are 18. So now it's become 17 divided by 2. This division is very easy, isn't it? 17 divided by 2 will give us 8.5. So 8.5 centimeters is the distance of the given side from its opposite side or the height is 8.5 centimeters. Question 14. The adjacent sides of a parallelogram are 15 centimeters and 10 centimeters. So we have a parallelogram adjacent means sides next to each other like this and this, not the opposite sides. Sides next to each other. So here we have this side is 15 centimeters and this side is 10 centimeters. The adjacent sides are given to us. If the distance between the longer sides is 6 centimeters, so these two are the longer sides and the distance between them is 6 centimeters, find the distance between the shorter sides. So these are the two shorter sides and the distance is dn. Now we have to find this dn. Okay, now think and see what we should do to find it. Now, to find out this distance, that means the height, dn. Now, suppose we take area, okay? Now, the formula for area is base into height. 
So I'm talking about dn here. So if we have to find dn or the height, what will the formula be? Now I'm going to talk about, I'm talking about this. I'm bringing it to the left hand side. So on the right, I have area. Now this b that is there will now become division. So this is area is equal to, uh, height is equal to area by base. That means if we have to find this height, we need to know area and we need to know the base. Now base we have, isn't it? For the shorter side, the base will be 10 centimeters. Now we don't know the area. So without knowing the area, we can't find the height. Area is for this whole thing. So now what we are going to do is we are going to find the area of the other side that is the longer side. When we use the longer side, we are able to find the area because we have the base and the height. The formula to find area is base and into height. So if we have to find the area using the longer sides, then that area can be used to find the height of the shorter sides. So did you understand how we are going to do it? It's going to be done indirectly. First, we are going to find area using the measurements of the longer sides. So let's begin by saying AB is the base. Okay, We are going to take AB as the base which is 15 centimeters. DM is the height. DM is the height and that is 6 centimeters. So now that we have the base and the height, we can find the area using the formula base into height. So let's find that first. So the base is 15 centimeters and the height is 6 centimeters. So when you multiply 15 into 6, you get 90 centimeter square. So now we have found the area. Now that we have found the area, we can find the height by using this formula. A height is equal to area by base because area is this. So now we are going to use the area. We know the area now. We know the base now. We can find the height. Let's do that. So now Let's take the second part, that is BC is base. This time, remember, we are taking the shorter side. So this time, BC has become the base. So BC is 10 centimeters. Then DN is a height. DN is a height which we don't know. So let's write it as X. Okay, let's consider the height to be X because that's what we're going to find out. And now we know the area. Area is already uh, is what we just found out. Let's use this formula and substitute wherever we can. So now area we know, so that is 90 centimeters square. Base here is 10 centimeters and height is x which we are going to find out. So let's bring x to the left hand side. So on the right hand side, now this is an equation. On the right hand side we have 90 centimeters square and this 10 centimeters we are going to put it along with 90, moving it from here to there. That means here it's multiplication, it will now become division. So 90 divided by 10. So 90 divided by 10, as you know, you can cancel and you get 9. So that means x is equal to 9 centimeters. We're talking about the height, so 9 centimeters. So what have we found? We have found the distance between the shorter sides and that distance is 9 centimeters. So we can write it down here also. So this distance between the shorter sides is now 9 centimeters. Question 15. The area of a rhombus is 84 centimeters square and its perimeter is 56 centimeters. Find its height. So this is a rhombus and this is the height which we don't know and we are going to find out the height. Now to find the height we can use the formula for area. Area is equal to base into height that means if we have to find the height we'll say area divided by base so now to find the height we need to know the value of area and the value of the base so what is given to us area is given to us the area of the rhombus is given to us but the base is not given so how do we find the height now let's make use of what else is given to us in the question in the question perimeter is given to us now perimeter the formula is 4 into side. Okay, so that is the side of this rhombus. So if we use the formula for perimeter, we can find the side and we can use the side as the base and find the height. So can you see how indirectly we are going to find out? First, we are going to find the, use the formula for perimeter to find the side. 
And once you find the side, we're going to use the formula for area to find the height. Okay, so let's begin. Area of the rhombus is 84 centimeters square given to us. Perimeter of the rhombus is also given to us. Now we're going to use the formula for perimeter to find the side. And that formula is 4 into side. Okay. So perimeter is already given to us. So let's write that. So 56 centimeters is equal to 4 into side. So 4 into side. Side we don't know. So we're going to bring it to the left hand side. And on the right we have 56 centimeters. This time we're going to divide it by 4. 56 divided by 4 is 14. So now that we know that the side is 14 centimeters, we can find the height. So let's write the side everywhere. So here for this rhombus, the side is 14 centimeters. So can you see that? This is 14 centimeters on all sides. Now we have the base. So with the help of the formula for area, base into height, we can find the height. Okay, so let's begin that part. So now area of the rhombus is base into height. And area is already given to us. 84 centimeter square. It's there in the question. Now, base is what we just found out. That is 14 centimeters. And height we don't know. We'll call it x. So, now we're going to find x. So, let's bring it to the other side. It's an equation. x is equal to, we have 84 centimeters square. This time divided by 14. 84 divided by 14. 84 divided by 14 is 6. So, that means we have found the height. The height is 6 centimeters. So we have found the height here and the answer is 6 centimeters. Question 16. Find the area of a triangle whose base is 30 centimeters and height is 18 centimeters. So base is given to us and the height is given to us. To find the area, let's use the formula. Area is equal to half into base into height. So half, that is 1 by 2, into the base is 30 centimeters and the height is 18 centimeters. Half into 30 into 18. Let's cancel what we can. So here we can cancel 2 and 30. So that's 15. So now we have to multiply 15 into 18. So when you multiply 15 into 18, you get 270. So we have found the area. The area, we can write it down here. Area is equal to 270 centimeter square. So this is our answer. Question 17. Find the height of a triangle whose base is 18 centimeters and area is 270 centimeters square. So this time we're going to find the height. Base is given and area is given. So with the help of the formula for area, we can find the height. So what's given to us? The base of the triangle is given to us 18 centimeters. Area is also given to us 270 centimeters square. Now we're going to use a formula to find the area, which is going to help us find the height. So the formula is half into base into height. So area is how much given to us in the question? 270 centimeters square. And here we're going to find this half into base is already given to us. And height, let's consider it as x. So this is half into 18 into x. Now we can cancel a little bit here itself before we bring x to the other side. I can cancel 2 and 18. So this becomes 9 centimeters. So now let me bring x to the other side. It's an equation. x is equal to, I have 270 centimeters square. This time I'm going to divide it by 9 because I have this 9 here, which is multiplication. So when I take it to the other side, it will become division. So it's come down here. Now divide 270 by 9. So here I can cancel. 9 threes are 27 and the 0. So that's 30. So x is equal to 30. So what have we found? We have found the height. And that is 30 centimeters. So this is our final answer. Question 18. The area of a right angled triangle is 160 centimeters square. So this is a right angled triangle. So here this is 90 degrees 
and the area that is the space inside is given to us as 160 centimeters square. If it's one leg is 16 centimeters long, so this leg, let's consider that to be 16 centimeters, find the length of the other leg. So that is the other leg we're saying, let it be X. Okay, so now let's begin. So area of a right angle triangle is given to us, length of one leg is given to us, let the length of the other leg be considered as X. Now let's use the formula for area. So this will help us find the length of the other leg. And what is the formula of a right angle triangle? Half into product of its legs. Product means you multiply. Now area is given to us. So let's substitute and write 160 centimeters square. And here half means 1 by 2 into product of its legs. That means you multiply the two legs measurements. That means 16 into x. So 16 into x is product of its legs. Now here I can cancel 2 and 16. 2 into 8 is 16. So in this equation, what do I have? I have 160 centimeters square is equal to 8 into x. So now I'm going to find the value of x. x will be equal to 160 divided by 8 because I'm transposing 8, which is multiplication, to the other side. So that will become division. Now divide 160 by 8. You can cancel. 8 2s are 16 and put the 0. So here what do we get? 20. So x is equal to 20. And what did we say x is? x is the length of the other leg. So what have we found? We found the length of the other leg that is x to be 20 centimeters. So this is our answer. The length of the other leg is 20 centimeters. Question 19. Find the area of a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse is 13 centimeters long and one of its legs is 12 centimeters long. So this is a right angle triangle. We have the 90 degree here and we have the hypotenuse here. I hope all of you remember what the hypotenuse. It is the side that is opposite the right angle. So the measurement of the hypotenuse is given and the measurement of one of its legs is given. But we are asked to find the area. So to find the area of this, remember the formula which says area of a right angle triangle is 1 by 2 into the product of its legs. And what are the legs? BC is one leg and AB is the other leg. Now here to find the area, do we have the measurements of BC and AB? Now BC we have, but AB we don't have. So let's call it X. X, the measurement of X we don't have. So unless we find the measurement of both these legs, we can't find the area. This is given to us, but this is not given. Now, how do we find the measurement of this leg? Now, whenever you see a right angle triangle, remember that you can make use of the Pythagoras theorem if the measurement of the hypotenuse is given and one of the legs is given. You can make use of the Pythagoras theorem, apply it. So let's see whether we can do that. So with that, you can find AB. And once you find AB, you can find the area. So let's begin. So one leg, the measurement is given to us. Hypotenuse is given to us. The other leg, let's consider that as X. To find this other leg's measurement, we're going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So what does that theorem say? According to that theorem, AC square, isn't it? That is the hypotenuse will be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is AB square plus BC square. So let's substitute whatever we have. Now we have AC which is 13 centimeters. So 13 centimeters the whole square. This will be equal to AB square. We don't have so we call it X square plus BC square is 12 centimeters. 12 centimeters, the whole square. So now let's find out only X square. So on the other side, we have 13 centimeters square. 13 centimeters square means 13 into 13. Okay, so first let's write that 13 centimeters square minus 12 centimeters square. Why minus? Because we have transposed this 12 centimeter square which is plus to the other side it will become minus so now let's find out 
So x square will be equal to 13 centimeter square is 13 into 13, 169 minus 12 centimeter square is 12 into 12, which is 144. So x square in this equation will be equal to 169 minus 144, which is equal to 25. So if x square is equal to 25, how much will x be? x is the square root of 25. Now square root of 25, it's very easy. What is the number that you multiply twice will give you 25? It is 5. 5 fives are 25. So the square root of 25 is 5 and x. x is the other leg that we have found and that is 5. So the other leg x is equal to 5 centimeters. So let's write it here. So now x is 5 centimeters. So now that we have found AB and BC is already given, we can find the formula, we can find area by using this formula. So the formula is area of the right angle triangle 1 by 2 into product of its legs. So we're going to find the area now 1 by 2 into the product of its legs. One leg is 12 centimeters and the other leg which we just found out is 5 centimeters. So here let's cancel 2 and 12. Two sixes are 12. Now let's multiply these two. So here what do we have? The area of the right angle triangle is equal to 6 into 5. 6 fives are 30. 30 centimeter square. So we have found the area and the area is 30 centimeter square. Question 20. Find the area of an equilateral triangle whose each side is 16 centimeters. Okay, so this time we are finding the area of an equilateral triangle. It's a different formula and the measurement is given. Equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all sides equal. So all three sides will be 16 centimeter each. And here they've told us take root 3 to be 1.73. Why have they given us this? Because this is part of the formula to find the area of the equilateral triangle. So let's begin. The side of the triangle is given to us. So we just need this one measurement. Now to find the area, the formula is root 3 by 4. Root 3 divided by 4 into a square where a is the side. Okay, a is the side. So we just have to apply this formula to find the area. So root 3, they have told us to take it as 1.73. So instead of writing root 3, you can write 1.73 divided by 4 into a square. a square means 16 into 16. a is 16, isn't it? Now cancel what you can. So here we can cancel 4 and 16. 4 fours are 16. Now all we have to do is multiply these three numbers. Multiply this and this and Multiply it with 16. So first, when you multiply 1.73 into 4, ignoring the point, remember first you multiply and then put back the point, you get 6.92. Now again, when you multiply this into 16, you get 110.72. 110.72. Follow all the rules of multiplication of decimals. Ignore the point first and multiply and then count the number of decimal places and put back the point. So here we have found the area to be 110.72 centimeter square. So this is our answer. Area is equal to 110.72 centimeter square. We will stop with this for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.